All right, sorry I am out today, but you're gonna be fine. There's a few things we can work on. Let me just bring this up. So first you're gonna to go to the Google Classroom. I put a few videos on there. So one of them is creating the mallet handle. So you guys created the mallet head yesterday. Now you have the handle. Um, number three is a video for assembling the mallet. And then once you have it assembled, then you can go back and try to finish old parts that you may not have completed this week. And then if you're all done with that, meaning right here, all caught up, uh, you can type and listen to music quietly, and then you may also read and listen to music quietly. Okay, I told the sub that that was the case, so make sure that you're on task. Don't wanna see you playing any games um, on the computer. Uh, anything it's you have so much to do um, and on Monday like we're gonna keep going so don't fall behind on Friday knowing that I'm not there because I'm gonna assume that you did this work unless you were absent and then we're gonna keep going with it so make sure you're on task again don't eat or drink in class uh, you have your headphones if there's any type of technical error you can I'll be on my computer because I have a district meeting and you can email me uh, hnewland at wccusd.net, okay? So we're gonna go to Autodesk, and so we're gonna create a handle for our mallet. So we're gonna go to new, and it's standard IPT, I can hit create. So this is a new part, file, save as, and let's call this mallet handle and hit save. So the handle is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to start a new 2D sketch and then we will create a circle and that circle has to be able to fit the diameter of the hole that we created in the mallet head. Um, we'll extrude it and then we're going to put some threads on it. So let's go to start a 2D sketch and XY plane, so circle. Let's start from zero, zero, expand out. And I believe if I wrote it down, the diameter of the hole that we created was, um, in the hole in the mallet head was 0 0.625. So this needs to be 0 0.625 right because it has to fit in there and that is correct I'm gonna hit escape on my keyboard and then finish sketch extrude and let's extrude it to 8 inches so 8.0 enter home and we will we're gonna chamfer both sides so if you can imagine if this thing were made of metal these really sharp edges might cut you, so we chamfer these, meaning that we just cut a little material off. And I'm gonna hit shift, hit the other side, so that way it's editing both. And I am going to, that's a little large in, ter in terms of a chamfer, so make that said 0 0.0625 so 0 0.0625 and hit apply then I can close it so you can see both sides are chamfered now we will thread it so right now it says it wants to thread the entire thing and we can click on it, it'll thread the whole part, but you wouldn't want to hold on to threads. That'd be uncomfortable. So we're gonna uncheck full length and we're gonna change that. We would change it to the length of the hole that we created on the, the mallet head, which I believe 0 0.875, so 0 0.875, click apply. And then that all looks good. We'll find out when we put it together if it's right. We're gonna change the material to, uh, let's see, standard.
stainless steel, silver. I mean, the silver looks cool. That's not something you'd want to make a mallet out of because silver is kind of soft, so it would bend. Well, I'll go with stainless steel. You can go with another type of steel if you'd like, but it, it needs to be a strong metal if it's going to be a something that you're hitting stuff with. So I'm going to hit the up arrow there, and it allows me to create this out of steel. So this one is done. So if you finish this, then you're going to move on to the assembly. Okay, um, That's the next video, so go back to the Google Classroom and look for the assembly video.